Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 4.3. And in this question, guys, we are basically going to be um, using a bar graph as well as a pie chart to answer questions that are given to us. We are going to be calculating probability. We are going to be calculating a percentage of something, right? So if you struggle with those concepts, please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial, right? Before we get started with the video tutorial, guys, you know, what it is please make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you guys have clicked on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video tutorial guys and also please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and it helps the channel reach more learners that want a better day mathematics month right so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <laughs> Okay, so question 4.3, it says uh, tourism in India is important for the country's economy and it is growing rapidly. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report 2019 has ranked India 34th out of 140 countries overall. And next year C indicates the number of tourist arrivals in India as well as the countries of origin of these tourists arrivals right use an extra c to answer the questions that follow so let's just have a look at an extra c that has basically been given to us right so this is an extra c right and we're given a bar graph that basically indicates the number of tourist arrivals in india from 2015 to 2019 right and the numbers are basically given in millions right so that is 8.03 million that is 8.8 .8 million that is 10.04 million and so on and so forth right and we can basically see that okay in 2015 okay the number of tourists that arrived in india were 8.03 million in 2016 the number of tourists that arrived in india were 8.8 .8 million right in 2017 the number of tourists that arrived in india were 10.04 million right and so on and so forth so the horizontal axis or the x-axis basically gives us the year that the tourists arrived in india and the y-axis or the vertical axis basically gives us the number of tourists that arrived in india in millions right so let's have a look here guys we know that here this is basically a pie chart right and this pie chart basically gives us the countries from where these tourists came right for example okay we can see that okay let's say for example in 2015 we can see that 8.03 uh, million tourists arrived in india right so that basically tells us from that 8.03 million five percent of those tourists were, were from canada 3.5 percent of those tourists were from australia right so if we take 8.3 million and you multiply it by 3.5 percent you will get the actual value of the number of tourists from australia that came to in um to india right same thing here 14.4 percent of those of the 8.03 million tourists were from the united kingdom right 21.1 percent of those tourists were from the united states right 37.9 percent of those tourists were from bangladesh right and then 18.7 percent of those tourists were from other countries maybe some are from south africa maybe some are from zimbabwe maybe some are from mozambique you know so that is basically what the pie chart is basically telling us right so let's get started with the questions question 4.3.1 says that write as a decimal the probability of selecting a tourist that comes from other countries right first thing we need to do here guys we know how do we calculate probability probability is equal to favorable outcomes over or divided by okay the total outcome okay so that's the first thing that we know right that is how you calculate probability so what is the probability of selecting a tourist that comes from other countries right 
So what do we focus on, right? In our NXGC, we are basically going to focus on our pie chart, right? Because our pie chart gives us information about the other countries, right? Okay. So what is our favorable outcome, guys? Our favorable outcome is the outcome that we want, which is the 18.7%, okay? And then what are our total outcomes? Guys, when we are basically dealing with a pie chart, what do we know about a pie chart, right? We know that the total value of a pie chart is always 100%, right? So if you are given a pie chart, right, all these percentages of a pie chart, if you add them together, they should give you 100%, right? That is how a pie chart is basically constructed. All these values, when you add them up together, it is always 100%, right? But then you'll see here, if you add up all these values, right, you basically get 99.8%. But we're going to discuss why it is 99.8%, right? But then let's continue, right? So the favorable outcomes is 18.7%. And then what is our total outcomes, guys? Our total outcome, right, for the pie chart, like I mentioned, if you add up all these percentages together for a pie chart, it is always 100%. So our total outcomes is 100%, okay? Guys, the percentage and the percentage units cancel, right? And if you just literally punch that 18.7 into your calculator, you will get 0.187, right? Okay, so the probability of selecting a tourist that comes from other countries is equal to 0.187. 187 because they did say that we need to write down our answer as a decimal right so if you basically leave it as a fraction you're not going to get your full marks right so please make sure that you read your questions uh properly right so that is basically our answer next question question 4.3.2 it says that date the trend in the number of tourist arrivals in india from 2015 to 2019 right so what does this word trend mean okay trend means that what is the general direction in which something is developing right do you see any pattern that is going on right in the number of tourist arrivals uh, from 2015 to 2019 right let's basically see what's going on here so if we have a look at our um bar graph right in 2015 if you look from 2015 to 2019, we see that the number of tourists that arrive in India, right, basically increased, right? From there, there it increases. It was 8.03, uh, 8.8, 10. So the number of tourist arrivals in India are basically increasing. So as the years increase, we realize that the number of tourist arrivals in India also increase. So that is basically the trend that we see, right? So I'm going to repeat. A trend means if they want to, if they ask you, do you see any trend that is occurring, right? They're asking you, do you see any pattern that is going on, right? What is happening when the years, if the years are increasing, what is happening with the number of tourists that are coming into India, right? So that is basically what they're asking you, right? What is the general direction in which something is developing? And in this instance, we see that as the years increase, the number of tourists that come in um, into India also increase, right? So that is exactly what we're going to write. Okay. And we are done. Next question, question 4.3.3, .3, right? For 2019, the number of tourist arrivals in India was 10.93 million. Bobby states that more than, okay, 4,500,000 tourists who visited India in 2019 came from Bangladesh, right? We need to verify showing all calculations whether this statement is correct, right? So Bobby says that, right, more than 4.5 million tourists who visited India in 2019 came from Bangladesh, right? So we basically need to verify this statement by looking at our bar graph and also looking at our pie chart, right? And we're also going to just be focusing on our year 
2019 right so we're gonna do that okay so what do we see in 2019 right the tourists that came from united states united kingdom australia canada bangladesh and other countries if you combine all those tourists together they amounted to 10.93 million right but then what it is saying that of that 10.9 million right nine ten point nine three million right over actually more than 4.5 million of those tourists were from bangladesh right so we basically need to confirm whether what bobby is saying is um correct or incorrect right so how do we do that how do we verify what bobby is saying right so here bobby is saying okay so we get we basically given 10.93 million right how do you basically write that down let's actually write the actual value how do you write 10 point nine three million like the actual value so it's ten nine three zero one two three right so that is ten million nine hundred and thirty thousand right so that's ten point nine three million right so here so basically to basically check um how many tourists from this ten point nine three million were from bangladesh we basically need to take that ten point nine three million multiplied by by what you want because we know that okay 37.1 percent of those tourists were from black bangladesh right so you multiply by what you want we want to find out what was the actual value of the tourists that basically came from bangladesh right so what we want is that 37.1 we want to convert that 37.1 percent into an actual value of tourists um that came or that arrived in India, right? So 10.93 um, 10 million multiplied by 37.1%. So you're gonna divide it by 100, right? And this will give us the value of the tourists that came into India in 2019 from Bangladesh, right? Okay, so I'm gonna repeat. We already know that in 2019, 10.93 tourists in total came into india right so we want to determine how many tourists from that 10.93 right came from bangladesh right and we're already told in the information that we've given in our pie chart that 37.1 percent right of the total tourists that came into india were from uh, bangladesh so basically if we want to get the actual value of those tourists, we take that 10.93 million, you multiply it by what you want, we want the actual value of the tourists that came in from Bangladesh, which is, we're told is 31, 37.1%. Uh, um, so it's gonna be 37.1 divided by 100, and that will give us the actual value of tourists that came from Bangladesh, right? So that is basically what we're going to do, okay? So like I mentioned, it's gonna be that 10, nine three zero one three multiply by 37 what you want divided by 100 okay okay so if you punch that into your calculator you'll get a value of four zero five five zero three zero okay so what does this tell us what does this tell us right okay from the 10.93 uh tourists uh, 10.93 million tourists that came into india in 2019 4 million 55,030 of those tourists were um tourists that came from bangladesh right so now bobby basically stated that right let's look at bobby's claim he stated that more than 4.5 million tourists or 4 million 500,000 tourists who visited india in 2019 came from blank, uh, blank, uh, Bangladesh, right? So we need to verify sharing all calculations whether the state correct, right? So from here, guys, we see that Bobby's statement was basically incorrect, right? Because he, he said that more than 4.5 tourists were from Bangladesh, right? But what we calculated here is that only 4.05 million of those tourists were from Bangladesh. So we can see that this value is less than that value so we have got 4.5 million here we've got 4.05 million right so therefore that basically tells us that bobby's claim is invalid okay right another way for you guys to basically understand this question right in case i lost someone right you basically need to see this question as right 37.1 percent 
of the 10.93 million tourists are from the, uh, Bangladesh, right? So what do we know? If we see that of there, that basically means that we basically need to multiply, right? So 37.1% of the 10.93 million tourists um, that came into India were from Bangladesh, right? So that of tells us that we basically need to multiply so that 37.1 over 100 because it's a percentage then you multiply it by the 10 9 3 0 1 2 3 and you'll still get the same answer right so that's another way um in which you can also look at that question right 37.1 percent of the 10.93 million tourists were from bangladesh right so then to get the actual value right of that 30 percent or 37.1 percent that is in this 10.93 million you basically need to take that 37.1 divided by 100 and you need to multiply that by the 10.93 okay and you'll still get the same answer right final question it says that the pie chart shows the total percentage of tourist arrivals in india for 2019 as 99.8 percent give a valid reason why this value is not 100 remember when you started off this question i actually mentioned that when you actually add up all these values or all these percentages right you'll actually get 99.8 percent right and like i mentioned when we started the the tutorial is that a pie chart the total value of a pie chart is always 100 percent right so yeah we've got a problem because when you add up all these values right you actually get 99.8 percent so what is the reason for us not getting 100 percent when we add up all these values right what could be the reason because it should be 100 percent but in this case it wasn't 100 percent so what is the reason for that what could be the reason in which um we didn't get that value of 100 percent right so if you think about this guys you would find that okay you sometimes actually lose um, a bit of accuracy when you're basically doing your rounding off, right? You'll find that sometimes if you actually round off to three decimal places, right, your values become more accurate, right? So in this case, probably because of how they rounded off the big values, they lost the accuracy um, in their calculation, right? So the reason that we can give here is that accuracy was lost when rounding off um, the, the, the total figures, right? Right. So since we've basically discussed this, I also wanted to bring your attention um, to something here with this question where we basically had to also calculate probability. Né? Another person might also think that, okay, we know the favorable outcomes are the outcomes that we want, right? And then we know that the other country's percentage was 18.7%, right? Over. And then someone might actually think that, okay, to get the total outcomes, I basically need to add up all these percentages, right? And when you add up all those percentages, you'll still you'll get that 99.8, right? Percent. So if you basically do that, you'll still get the answer of 0 0.17. Okay right so yeah that's something that i also realized but in this case i think it was basically important for you guys to realize because we are working with the pie chart right the total outcomes or the total uh percentage or the total values or if you add up all these percentages you should get um it should be 100 percent that is what oh that is how it is with a pie chart right so that is the important um concept there that it's supposed to be 100% but because they lost accuracy when they were basically rounding off their values it basically was 99.8% right so I, I think that is it for today's video tutorial guys um, I hope I simplified everything for you guys it was just four questions um, yeah nice questions not too bad just interpreting your um, bar graph as well as your pie charts and also just calculating probability as well as a percentage of something and i think yeah those these questions were not that bad okay so i'll see you guys on my next video tutorial that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys. <laughs>